Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark, and we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get a multi channel drum mix out of uh, Slate Drums, Steven Slate Drums. And um, I've got the uh, free version downloaded here, um, which just has three kits, but it doesn't matter because all you need to know is the theory behind it. Um, and, and this is not too painful of a, of a fix to do. So um, I have. Uh, so. Here's my amazing drum beat that I've programmed, and um, you see I have all these channels and you know stuff's going on in all of them, right? And you, and you see I've labeled them. So what did I do? How did I do it? Um, so there's two pieces to this, and um, both fairly easy to understand. There was only one trick that uh, was kind of confusing about it, but um, so you see here we've got all these different outs. So you know out one through 32 um, a lot of outs and then over here this is the channel where I've actually dropped the VST into and you so you know when you drop it when you look at the back you know initially you, you would see this you don't see these extra optional audio outs so you gotta expand that and then you see you know up to 16 channels uh, or um, seven stereo channels. This got a, this was a little bit confusing at first, uh, so I had to play with it a little bit to figure it out. But like this is one through thirty-two, but um, that but they're stereo channels. So um, one is this, even though it says one two, that's out one. Two is three four. Three is five six four seven eight. Um, and so forth. So just each one of these little boxes count them as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have the option of eight individual channels, uh, which which covers most of it. Um, you know, you can certainly get a lot crazier. Um, but you can see here, I did kick, snare, snare, bottom mic, hats, close mic toms. Uh, overhead mic, then a master drum out for anything that was left over, and then I went ahead and, because I had one more channel, I went ahead and did the SLR out as well. So yeah, let's just take a look at that closer too. So, um, hit play. So, my kick, I've taken, these are, this is just generic reason um, stuff that's in the factory, and um, so M MTS kick. Um, and when you look at the back of it, this part is a little bit confusing. So let's uh, we'll we'll do a uh, we'll do a different one. And you have to uh, kick drum love. You have to reroute it when you when you do that. And so you see it 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 got rid of my routing from up here. Um, and so this part you're gonna take that out, and you have to pay attention to what is what is this going to. So it was going to the compressor. And then I'm going to run from here to there. And zoop, zoop, it routes it. And now, boom, I'm back in action using a different one. Um, and cool thing is that this also applies if you are going to use uh, VSTs. So let's go down to Sheps, Sheps Omni Channel Stereo. And again, you can see it it wipes out your your routing. Um, so we're gonna take that out, zip zap, and one is gonna go here. And then this part is not gonna auto route in this case. So you do have to route your audio out to the actual channel. Otherwise, you're not gonna get anything. And then after that, um, you know choose your you know your preset whatever do do your worst um, and and there it is it's routed so just to recap that real quick um, step one drop your VST in all right cool you got your VST dropped in step two go over to your VST to slate drums in this case and look for all your outs and figure out okay it's under the mix setting and then I can click on that out and change my outs. Then step three, you're going to flip the rack. You have to expand the rack to where you can see the CV programmer. 
and then you're going to be going you'll you'll create multiple I guess this will be step four create a audio track or mix channel they're going to be the same thing in this case and then you have to expand that as well and then you're going to be dragging each one of these audio outs to here or to you know once you use it you put your insert in there then you're gonna you know whatever go crazy sure do a pitch shifter um, audio in from each one of these individual channels and so you have to remember you know it shows 1 through 16 but that's actually 1 through 8 if you're comparing it to what the channels are here so 1 2 is 1 3 4 is 2 5 6 is 3 and so forth um, so that, that part gets a little confusing I think it's more confusing to say than it is to do um, but uh, hopefully all of that stuff makes sense to you um, once you've done all your all the, so you've done the routing here and then you've physically run the cable physically quote physically run the cable and if it's you know in some cases you're gonna have to do that where audio out is gonna have to go back into the mix channel so otherwise you're not gonna get any sound um, and once you've done that then you did it you have a multi-channel mix and then you can tweak everything as an individual channel so that is the uh, that is that is the magic of having a multi-channel mix using Slate Drum in Reason. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, or that was too confusing, or I went too fast, or whatever, uh, just let me know, and I will address them as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. Cheers.